After 40 years, instead of today, every time they moved, they could uh, be against God, they could rebel. They just forgot what um, miracles God did for them. So we, we are going to dwell on that one. I put jambo liku hori hagate. So we're gonna see uh, the people who shimi kira. Where we gonna read now? Ni mukutuma kaya ha no no no. Ni mukitamu chua kishwa ni ma na yesaya. It's in Isaiah. Kihima cha milongine. Chapter forty. Wa hawa ni kusome kihima cha milongine kusoma. Dunia ere ye kumurongo. Chapter 40 from verse. Murongonua no no trust on Matlere Murongua Kane from verse 4. What happened when you have to come in? Read it, you see. Let me call. If you get it, read for us. This way. If you do semerera ati, nimu tekure in Zirayu Horaho, Mukaragua, Musenere Imana Yachu, in Zirayoro, Mukera Nyange, Munga was Uso Uso Kuzuzwa, Nu Nimi Sosi, Nu Sosi was Uso, Nu Sosi was Nakarandi. Ito inganizwa haru sutumba hato tega utuhokoro uchike ikiaya matuti zaku horamo uto hishuwa kanda wafis wafis umubiri bose bato wona bato wonera imne kuku kupaka na ku horamo aliko kamuze imani simweza. Let's be together. Let's read in English. The voice of him that cries in the wilderness, prepare you the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hills shall be made, uh, made low, and the crook shall be made straight, and the rough places plain, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Let's go to verse 6. If we do book a tea, semerera, wound a tea, semerera, eat tea. There is a question in this verse. If you do the voice says, Cry, and he said, What shall I cry? All the if that be room, a mashuke at a cabirana, cooking him to Horaho, the cooking him to Horaho, Nukuri Avanu, Bose, Nukuri Avanu, that he could say, if that be room, a mashuke at a cabirana, Alpijambo, to Horaho, Imana Yatu, Ito Kamahi, the Hedikashi. Let's repeat from verse six. The voice said, Cry, and he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodness, God's goodness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withers, withers the flower fades, because the Spirit of God, of the Lord, flows upon it. Surely the people is grass. Amen. 
kuri wewe uli kuranyumba na wewe uli hano uli kurandaba um to the hearer and the viewer ijambo kya memory verse cha mvurongo mukuru wa kwibuka from our memory verse Said that if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Because you will provoke him like the, our ancestors did. And now, again, we have heard that the voice of the one who's crying. And the other one is like, what should I cry for? Because all the flesh is grass. They are all like flowers. Because the Spirit of God blows upon them and they wither. And they will never be remembered at all because they all dry. Because the Spirit of God blows upon them. Why does God say this word to us? This is how Isaiah was shown this word revealed from God. Isaiah saw the Lord in his holy temple. The seraphs were uh, uh, surrounding him. The cherubims were surrounding him too. And now the Lord in his glory showed himself, revealed himself to Isaiah. Remember, at this time when um, Isaiah spoke these words by God, there were stubborn people. And there were big people, rich people who couldn't listen to the word of God. And now when Isaiah saw the Lord, he was scared. And the Lord revealed himself to Isaiah. So Isaiah was full of fear, and the Lord was asking, Whom should I ascend? But Isaiah took courage and said, Send me. And remember, it was a generation of sinners. Um, Isaiah too was a sinner. That's why the Lord brought the burning charcoal and put it on his mouth to please him. At that time, there were people who were prayer warriors, but they had stop their face. Like today, as uh, still people are, they were just doing their rituals. And that is how it is today. That's how it is today. There are many people who go to churches, but they don't leave behind their human nature. They don't do righteous things like God is righteous. That's why this warning that was given to the ancient times people is now to us at this time. You may be, you may be seeing me or hearing me wherever you are. And you, you think you are of a different faith. 
You know, we have very many religions I cannot mention this one or the other one. But then you find that your faith now is based on the religion, not on Jesus. But the word said that his word shall endure, endure forever. And then for you, you are still clinging on your religion. And if they a very good warning from the word of God, you don't want to listen. Because the one who is telling you, you is not of your faith, is not of your religion. You may be in a religion when there is no Jesus in there. You have never received the grace of God. That's why the word of God says, cry. Yes. And the other one is like, what should I pray for? Go and tell all the flesh that they are like grass. Go and tell of those. They are like flowers. So those who are like, we are in a religion. They go and, and uh, dress well, then they, they come when the, their lips are red, and their nails are as long as the vultures. Technology is, uh, is, is high, and they forget the word of God. And ETC, ETC. Not only that, people are just going. You see them on top like they are good, but they are full of hatred. And many other wrong, bad things that are not God. But when you meet them on the way, they are like praise God, praise God. But the God whom they are praising is not in their heart, is not in their deeds. That's why the word of God says that cry. And the other one is like, what should I cry? You may, uh, by, because of your nature, stubborn nature, you don't want to listen to the word of God. I think you must today. That there is no any other way you can get saved apart from reading the word of God. Let's read in Matthew chapter 3, verse 3. Matthew chapter 3, verse 3. Did you see it and read? Matthew chapter 3, verse 3. Mm. Let's read in English. For this is the for this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah saying, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare you the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Praise be to God. Verse 4, Yohana, uwo yari yambaye umwambaro uko yaki ngamia, Abu Kenya she umushumi if you could yet yari in the gay no wuki bubu kura. Mhm, Rongogatanati Maze Abi Saramu Navi Yudaya Yose no mu yuku chose itegany itegany na yodani 
Ote barahaguka Baja aho ali Aba batiza muru uzir wa yodani Vafuga ibya aha wa hako ze Just read in English From verse 4 to verse 5 Verse 6 And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair and a, a leathern girdle around his, about his loins, and his meat was locust and wild honey. Then went out to him, went out to him, Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region around about Jordan, and were baptized of him in Jordan. Confessing their sins. Amen. Go ama hivap Jerusalem. So people moved from Jerusalem. Bakata kuri Johann coming to John. Mat Johann kama chiza mumat me simuruti kufa Jordan. And John baptized them in Jordan. Iga hari kenti kwa boy. The water is rough. It's a hazard. And now they are. In Jordan, they could confess their sins. They could confess their sins. That's why you're going to read in verse 7. Abraham. 
wambaye Yesu ku mubiri nk'umwambaro ariko mu mutima wawe atari mu you may be dressed with Jesus on top like he's a, a, a gown for you but he's not in your heart birashika kugenda mu rusengero kitwa umunyedini ariko imana it's possible that you have you call yourself a religious person, but you don't have God, you don't have His word in you. Remember when Jesus went to Jerusalem? He was with his brothers. And his brothers didn't care about his godliness and his miracles. They, they, they did not follow him. And they never believed in him. Sometimes they would say, why can't he go to Jerusalem and they kill him there? Imagine how they lived with the word of God, but they never considered it. Possible, it's possible that you live with people who tell the word of God, they read the word of God, but you don't have space in your heart for the word of God. You may be a Pharisee today who doesn't want to uh, welcome the word of God, you don't want to welcome the grace of God. Let's repeat verse 9. Say, Abraham niwe sokokuruta sokokuruta and do not think within yourselves we have Abraham to our father ndabakiru yu ndabakiru ndabakira yu haya mabuye imani shogora kuya tara mwabana ba Abraham for i say unto you that god is able of these stones to rise up children for Abraham and to Abraham kumurongo wi 10 verse 10 I print charity. He can make it that way. Kubitina, kubitina, kibiti. Nunkolero, ikiti chose, kitama ibiza, kila chika, kika tere kwa mumuriro. And now, also the axe is laid unto the root of the tree, of the trees. Therefore, every tree which brings not forth good fruit is hewn is hewn down and cast into the fire. Nuko nukuri jeho na mabgire mumaze ngo muiha e nukuri jeho na 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 baba tiza mumaz ngo muiha ni ari kuto taha anima yange anda. Uh, I Verse indeed, baptize you, I indeed baptize you with water and repentance, unto repentance. But he that comes after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. I Remember, verse eight says, "Bring forth therefore fruits made um, for repentance." And this one, we should make a question for each and everybody. 
Wherever you are, looking at me, I am here in church, even I myself, this word of God comes to us to us so that we can do something. God wants us to change that his word should grow in our hearts so that good fruit the good fruit be in our, in, in, in our daily life. We will be able to go remember Jesus said that if you are led by the Holy Spirit it was Paul who said it in the Galatians chapter uh, that if you are led by the Holy Spirit do according to the Holy Spirit check your deeds it was spoken in Galatia. That is jealousy, hatred, indigo, envy, bigone, proud, tukana, cursing each other, and other matters. And Paul says, whoever is like that will never inherit the Dharma kingdom. And he said it in the uh, second Timothy. That because we be proud, they will love the technology and the conversation. It will be hard times. And remember, that's why the word of God says, the sons of, of the serpent. How do you tell someone to change his body? You change your color, and people then are doing it. They change whatever God gave them. But that is what we see on top. And when he won him, he will not change But the word of God says, that is just the flesh. You are just like grass. Someone hates others. Someone who is never changed. And the word of God says, this, change yourself and uh, um, have good fruit. Bear good fruit. As we wind up, excuse me um, if I'm late you. Let's go to Isaiah again. Let's go again to Isaiah. Chapter 40. Uh, it's good if we repeat this word again. From verse one, Harapugango. Uh, it says, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1 to 2, Comfort you, comfort you, my people, says your Lord, your God. Speak you comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her 